New Recreation and Aquatic Center is open for the community to enjoy. It replaces the crumbling Martin Luther King Jr. Natatorium. Channel 2's Ricky Klaus reports from Northeast Atlanta on what the state of the art facility now offers. One, two, three, smile. Dr. Bernice King, along with Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed and city leaders, cut the ribbon on the new Martin Luther King Jr. Recreation and Aquatic Center on Hilliard Street. This is one of the happiest days uh, as mayor of the city of Atlanta. There's a rock wall here, basketball courts, a computer room, an indoor track, and a gym. One of the first of its kind features is this indoor zero entry pool, which makes it really easy for seniors and kids alike to get in. The center replaces and builds on the former natatorium, which was crumbling. The Atlanta Housing Authority donated the land for the $23.5 million center. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter says her parents would be proud. My mother wanted to ensure there was a presence of a swimming pool because. When she grew up in the segregated South in her, in her rural community, there were no swimming pools, so she never learned how to swim. Leaders say they want people from all communities to gather here. See this MLK Aquatic Center and Recreation Center as a place to connect with each other so that you begin to know each other and it dissipates the fear and removes all the hate. Atlanta's Department of Parks and Recreation says memberships start at about $10 a month. Reporting live in Northeast Atlanta, Ricky Klaus, Channel 2 Action News.